Rye is a very valuable source of nutrition for humans and animals. Thanks to its high tolerance to drought stress and its nutrient use efficiency, rye facilitates resource conserving, sustainable farming. Despite the pronounced disease resistance of rye, which allows crop production with a low level of fungicide application, infection with ergot represents a potential risk in rye. The fungal spores infect open flowers. Therefore, rye as a cross-pollinating crop that has long open flowering periods to pick up pollen is particularly affected. Less commonly, ergot occurs in other cereals such as triticale, wheat and barley. Especially under rainy conditions with high humidity and low temperatures during flowering time, the risk of ergot infection increases. Under these conditions, pollen flight and therefore pollination is strongly reduced. In principle, ergot may occur under appropriate conditions in all population and hybrid varieties. However, there are major differences in terms of sensitivity or resistance to ergot. Therefore, variety selection is an effective way to prevent ergot. To further increase food safety, the European Union will lower the ergot threshold for rye for bread making from currently 0.5 grams per kilogram to 0.2 grams per kilogram, which will become effective from the 1st of July 2024. The European Union is also discussing an adjustment of the thresholds for animal feed. For many farmers, these lower ergot thresholds impose a challenge. In contrast to other fungal diseases, ergot can't be targeted directly with crop protection agents. The use of fungicides during the flowering period can even increase the risk of infection. That's why it's so important to prevent infestation whenever possible. Breeders like Andres Gordillo are working intensively to improve the resistance of rye. By far, the most important mechanism of defense against ergot is based on pollen shedding, which leads to a rapid closure of rye flowers. This blocks the entrance of fungal spores and reduces the risk of infection. KWS rye varieties with Pollen Plus technology show a considerably higher pollen shedding and, therefore, better defense against ergot. To this end, we have incorporated various genes in our hybrids that result in a higher and more stable pollen shedding. In addition, we are working on the development of hybrids with narrower flowering windows. Considering the new thresholds of the European Union, KWS developed a special hybrid rye portfolio that allows farmers to implement a fast transition to rye varieties with an even higher ergot defense and thus protect the farmer's produce. Our new rye hybrids allow us already now to meet the requirements of the new thresholds for ergot of the European Union. This will also apply to future hybrid rye types such as dwarf or spring rye, which will open up new cultivation opportunities for farmers. Other objectives also play an important role in breeding. We want to support farmers in successfully meeting challenges of rye cultivation. For this, we are developing varieties that not only show a strong defense against ergot, but also offer a steady increase in yield combined with maintenance and improvement of important agronomic characteristics such as standability and leaf health. 